Welcome to part three of our COVID assistance series. Uh, so the last and final thing that we want to show you is these blow bottles or PEP bottles. And what these bottles do is it actually causes a positive pressure, uh, meaning it forces uh, the, the ballooning in your lungs, the balloons in your lungs to actually expand. Okay, which is obviously something that we want to do. So together with the diaphragmatic breathing, the long breathing out, uh, together with the resistance of the water, you're going to get a vibration in the lungs, which also assists to loosen the phlegm and to re-inflate those small little sacs in the lung that actually start to harden and fill up with a lot of phlegm and they kind of collapse. And it's at those sacs where you know the oxygen that you're breathing in goes into the lung uh, into the bloodstream and where the carbon dioxide comes back into the lungs for you to breathe out so it's so crucial that we keep those sacs in the lungs they're called the alveoli we keep them open and empty of phlegm that shouldn't be there so that we can get the oxygen that's needed into the body um, so what you need, hopefully you can find the items in your own home that you don't need to drive around frantically looking for them. So you need a 2 litre milk bottle or a 2 litre juice bottle, whichever bottle, but a 2 litre. And then if you maybe have irrigation pipe at home, uh, you know, then you need to cut yourself 50 centimetres of, of that and then you need to make a hole in the top where the pipe will be going through. So the pipe must just, there must be, it must fit snugly but not too much so that you can't move it around. Otherwise the, you're going to blow up the bottle and then no air can escape. So there's got to be a little bit of a free play. They say a two millimeter space between the pipe and the, the, the bottle cap. All right, so that is very basic. I'll just show you quickly another photo. Have a look here. So you need your two litre bottle with a cap. You need 1,150 millilitres of water. It's actually quite an exact science to get the right amount of pressure to re-inflate those sacs. So 1,150 millilitres of water and a scissors to make a hole in the top of your bottle cap. Okay, so once you've made your bottle and you filled it up with clean water, um, then we're going to just show you how to use it. So you're going to get in a comfortable position and we want the pipe to be facing upwards. So don't let it curl over and that you're holding it in front of you. So a bottle down below, the pipe is facing up. And then breathing in through the nose, remember not into the apical lobe, all right? So through the nose, breathing into the stomach, into the diaphragm, nice deep breath in. And then when you are ready, you place your lips around the pipe and you start to blow. Nice, long out breath. And we try and go for as long as you can. I try and encourage my patients to at least Try for 20 counts, but you will see that it might not be doable in the beginning. And then remember to please take the pipe out of your mouth before you take a big breath in again. Uh, the water is not something you want to be drinking. Okay, so we'll just do that one more time. So nice deep breath into the belly, through the nose, and then mouth around it, breathing out. So the bubbles are causing the vibration in the lungs, which is helping to loosen the phlegm. The positive pressure being caused is re-inflating those sacs. And the longer you can go, there we go, yes, force it out. The beds are very, very nice. And that is what we want. So we, we, we try to do three to five of those with a little bit of a pause in between just so that you're not too dizzy. Try not to do it in standing because because you might get dizzy, we don't want you falling over. So try to do three or five of those for as long as you can. Every waking hour. So set your alarm on your cell phone or on your watch 
that every hour you need to come and start off with those other exercises we've showed you in part one and two, followed by the positive um, expiratory pressure bottle, your PEP bottle. And I'm sure that together with all of those, we can get the most efficient breathing that you can possibly get um, in, this, in this challenge against COVID. Uh, another thing, obviously, you must just clean the bottle with some jig or, or, or any sanitizer you have. Make sure you rinse it out well. And they advise that after five days that you make a new bottle. Um, also, try to replace the water that you put into the bottle daily. Remember, you're breathing out a lot of, um, you know, bacteria or whatever it is that you have in your lungs. Uh, the virus and it, and it, it accumulates in the water. So just chuck the water out, rinse the bottle, and then again fill it with 1150 milliliters of water before continuing with your breathing. So yeah, we, we wish you all the best. And uh, may you all be blessed and come out the other side of the fight victoriously. Thank you, guys. Bye.